All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, let's see. I think technical difficulties aside, I think we might be in good shape to get started this morning. Um, let me know if you can hear me okay. And um, today I decided, I, um, actually, I did not decide. I had a request from Jamie who commented that she's not actually able to make it to this one, but she was asking about an autism awareness design. And so I was like, oh, that would be a fun live stream theme. So that's what we're going to work on today. Um, and Jamie, we're sorry you couldn't make it um, to the live stream, but she's going to watch this with her son later tonight. So sometimes that's better because then you can pause and rewind and fast forward if you need to and that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I found this little clip art of a heart with puzzle pieces. And so I'm going to get this onto my rock with some carbon paper and then use the colors for autism awareness and color the puzzle pieces. So that's kind of where I am coming from. It's got a hair in there. So I'm going to see how well I can do this with people watching me live. That scares me a little bit. <laughs> But let's see. So I'm going to take, I have my little skinny washi tape here. I'm going to take this and if I can find the end of it, tape this design to the rock and we'll get started. So welcome if you're just signing on. Glad you're here. It's been a minute. Um, just going to try and secure this the best I can and then get to tracing. So let me know if this sounds okay for those of you that are signing on. And then we'll get moving into the design. You guys see me use, oh goodness, focus camera, focus. It's trying. <laughs> it's too early in the morning for the camera. Um, you guys see me use the carbon paper a lot. I use this, it's a super good trick of the trade if you need to trace some stuff onto your rocks, or if you just feel like you're not super confident with free handing things, this carbon paper is just a lifesaver. Um, pull that back a little bit. Is that the secure? Not quite. All right, let's see here. I'm just going to secure it from all angles because without the ability to like start over and edit and whatnot. <laughs> I try not to edit too much out of my normal videos, but you know, I have my moments where it probably takes a lot longer than people want to sit through, or at least that's what I think. But okay, so I'm going to trace with a pencil um, because uh, the dotting tool works, but the pencil seems to be the best for me as far as getting it transferred directly onto the rock. So that's what I'm going to trace it with. So I'm just going to start going around the design and kind of with a fair amount of pressure to make sure that it, um, you know, it's a little different transferring onto a stone and this has no base coat on it. So transferring directly onto the stone versus like paper, like if, like you see this little test line that I did right here, I did it over paper before I signed on to make sure that the paper wasn't old or crummy or something. <clears throat> so sometimes you have to put a fair amount of pressure I'm not going to worry if the lines are a little mm, not so smooth, if they're a little rough. I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to outline this whole design with black after we get it colored in. So just going for the gist of the design, getting down onto the rocks so that we can color it and make it pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do if I lift this and it didn't go through. <laughs> so I'm trying to put a fair amount of pressure make sure that we get all of our design transferred onto our rock. These puzzle pieces are going to be fun because they're kind of um, intricate, I guess. But I like this one because the puzzle piece was coming out of the heart. I thought it was cute. So let's see if we can transfer the design. And you guys are going to laugh because I don't know, hopefully you're all on my newsletter list. If you're not, you can go in the link in the description or in the description of any of my videos, there's a link to sign up on the newsletter. And I try and send one out once a month. And I just sent out the April one on 
Friday, I think. And I purposely waited a little bit because I wanted to send it and say, it's not snowing anymore. And it wasn't at the time. It wasn't. But last night it tried to snow again. I think this might be really, it's the, the end of it. It was a rainstorm. And then I looked out and it was like rain. And then it looked like these really big chunks of like a Slurpee from 7-Eleven were floating in the air. And then it just got thicker. Didn't stick or anything because it was too wet. But it just doesn't want to give up on us over here. <laughs> All right. So you can kind of see the part that I've gone over. And I'm just going to keep going and try and get these puzzle pieces now. And actually, I'm going to peek at it just to make sure I'm putting enough pressure. So you can do this if you aren't all the way through a design. Just kind of peek at it so that you can make sure it's doing what you want. That way you don't go through the whole design, pull it off. It didn't work. This is really super duper light. So I think I need to push a little harder. It's really light. So I'm going to go back over this, but at least I know before I stop. We need to, and the nice thing is, is I've kind of created myself a little um, trench with the pencil. So it, it's easier as far as, you know, pushing harder and not feeling like I'm going off the rails of the design. I just want to make sure we've got what we need. Otherwise, I'm going to be freehanding it and that will be a scary, scary thought. <clears throat> so around the heart we go, a good amount of pressure. Okay, and I'm going to go around this puzzle piece again because that needs it as well. This is probably going to be a test of my Sunday morning brain alternating with these colors properly <laughs> or equally, I guess is the word. I feel like I'm still waking up this morning. <laughs> Let me go ahead and do the same thing around all these puzzle pieces. And then I always keep this, you know, like whatever I've traced onto the rock handy. Um, so that I can refer to it if like something didn't come through all the way or just to just to kind of refer to it. I might even mark on this what colors I want in each puzzle piece. We shall see. Okay, There's one puzzle piece down. You guys are quiet today. Nobody's commented yet. <laughs> Not used to that. Hope everybody's having a good morning and you have, well, it may not be morning where you are. We have a lot of you that are from Midwest and the East Coast that are well into lunchtime by the time I get on here, but it is 9.08 for me. And I haven't had any coffee yet. That might be the first order of business after this. I should have done this before I got on. I feel like it's taking a crazy amount of time to do it and to actually get it to show up on the rock. <laughs> That's okay. We're hanging out in kindness rocks. All good. I also am making this, this lead is going all over the place. You can kind of see it. It's smearing onto the, the red parts of the rock. Hi, Tabitha. Good morning. You're probably eating lunch right now because I know where you are. <laughs> Fun times. <clears throat> I think we watched, I was going to say we watched two movies over the weekend and they were like on the edge of your seat, kind of, one of them was kind of violent. It was called Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal and I had never seen the original I guess it's a remake Patrick Swayze was in it the original um it was a good movie the plot was good I guess but it was a little tense 
And then we watched, I don't even remember what the name of it was. And it's not a new movie last night. And it was about an oil rig accident, the Deep Horizon oil rig. And I think it happened in 2010. So it was based on real events. Mark Wahlberg was in it. It was really good, but very intense also. <laughs> Probably shouldn't watch those things before I go to bed. <laughs> good morning, Mary Jane. All right, we're coming around the last bend of our puzzle piece here. And now is when I doubt myself that I pushed hard enough on all of these to make them show. So I'm just going to kind of give a little once over. Yesterday, we went prom dress shopping for my daughter, which was, she decided <clears throat> sort of last minute that she wants to go to the prom and it's in two weeks. So we kind of had to rush and find a dress. And of course, everyone else is last minute dress shopping too. And so the mall was a complete bust. No luck there. And we actually ended up going to David's Bridal of all places. And they carry prom dresses. I was thinking just bridesmaid dress. It's cute. But they carry prom dresses. So we lucked out and found one she liked. And now I just got to get all the, I guess, accessories and shoes and what goes with it. All right, let's brave pulling. Oh my gosh, I got lead all over the, this is going to be fun. I'm going to be covered in black and gray by the end of this <laughs> between the carbon paper and everything. So I'm just going to peel this off. I like using this tape because it's not huge. Um, it's tiny and it's easy to peel off, which is nice. Um, let's see how this went. Oh my gosh, it's barely there. Okay. I think we can make it work. So you can kind of see it's barely there. And what I'm going to do, I think with the pencil, I'm going to tape this on the desk in front of me. You guys can't see it but maybe not. I can't see it very well. I'm going to maybe kind of trace over what I already traced on just so that I have a bit of an idea of where I'm going here. That will help. Um, oh, that other puzzle piece is just like very tiny. <clears throat> so this is where the reference piece comes in very handy because I am a little bit out of sorts here. Let's see. This goes across and up and over. That makes sense. And then there is. This so one goes down and in like that. That's the end of that heart. <laughs> oh, you always use a mechanical pencil? So I love mechanical pencils for writing on um, like paper, like using it as an actual pencil, <laughs> but I push too hard on these because I'm always trying to get the pressure. So if I'm pushing too hard, then they just break and they're not super useful. So I have to use the good old fashioned number two um, pencil. But I think we might be able to make this. I got enough of it down. So maybe that's another kind of lesson learned here is if you can get enough of it down that you can kind of go around and follow it. See, over here, I did not get much of anything down. Or I'm just blind. I'm using the light on the camera to help. <laughs> um, this right here. Let's see. That's already there. So this one across. And we're down like this, I think. And then 
this goes down and out. Okay, yeah, I've got enough of it down. But it's kind of here, and then this kind of goes into the heart. Like that, and then my other puzzle piece. I don't know why it's so hard to see. So it's basically... I'm super struggling to see this one. Um... This is, this is the little piece that I'm trying to make sense of, and it's causing me a brain fart. <laughs> so I'm trying to line it up about the heart ends here. And then there was the holy piece right about here. Go down with this. Around. There we are. There it is. Now I found it. Down and around. Like that. And there's a little knobby piece here. This is going to be interesting putting the pencils on, because, or I mean the pens on, because I wonder if they're going to be angry at me for the lead on here, so I'm going to try and just kind of tighten it up a little bit, maybe. And then I've got these four colors, so it's kind of like a royal blue, it's blending into the back. Royal blue, a yellow, a red, and a light blue. Um, I have my little tester here to make sure everything's working. Um, oops, you know what? I missed part of the design up at the top here. This, this piece, and there's another piece right there. Okay. So I think I'm just going to start alternating right across with the colors. So that one's working okay. And this may take, these are my um, Thule Art brush tip pens and this may end up taking multiple coats since we're going directly onto the rock with no um, gesso or anything underneath but it may not we'll see these pens have pretty good coverage and I like these brush tips because you can get in kind of to the teeny little spots like you would with a brush. Okay, that went on fairly well. <laughs> so this is, I think, the messiest live stream I've ever done because all I'm seeing is all of this gray and gross right here, but whatever. We're going to keep plowing through. This yellow, I think, might not like the, um, it might not like the, um, hold on, we're missing piece right here too. Let's just go straight across here. Um, all of the pencil lead is what I'm worried about on this yellow because the white one. That could be a little tricky. But let's see how we do. I think what I'll do to help with that is to keep like blotting that off on the paper if it's picking up on the black. I'm going to go across with these colors, I think. Um, so I'm going to do this big piece over here first. There's this little knobby thing, but I think I'll just fill that in with one of these colors. And this goes across like this. I hope this looks like a puzzle after this because I'm a little unsure at the moment. We'll see. All right, and I'm gonna fill in this little little piece up top with the lighter blue. Let's see how that goes. All right, so now the alternating becomes tricky because 
Maybe I go backwards. Let's go backwards and we'll start with the lighter blue and go backwards across with the colors, but it's going to run into... Ugh, I'm going to do lighter blue in here. <laughs> now I've really got myself in a pickle because if I do yellow in the middle, then it's going to butt up against that yellow. All right, we're going to test our creative juices this morning. Not sure how much I've got. We'll see what happens. My puzzle pieces are starting to look a little funky here. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. We can fix Make this a little more rounded with the red. Some of these tips, I think we were, we actually use these, um, on Easter. My mom brought, mom brought some, they were like cardboard or paper eggs that she got. Um, and so we used them, we painted eggs instead of coloring them. We got out the paints and we were painting them. And it was really fun, but I think these got used. So some of the tips may not be what they used to be. <laughs> That's okay. We had fun with it. It was, they were really fun. Um, we just did designs and then used them as kind of like an egg hunt of sorts. Brush off that yuck. I think we are going to need two coats on some of these. So I'm just going to get the first coats down and keep going. Um, Let's see here. I think we could put, let's do a dark blue over here. This, so this has now morphed. There is no alternating. We're just making it where we don't end up with the same colors next to each other at this point. <laughs> alternating is not in the picture anymore, which is okay. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I, I was late. I meant to get it out earlier in the day. Um, but I didn't get my video out yesterday until seven o'clock last night for me, which some of you may have been in bed already, <laughs> but um, it's really cool. I used um, masking fluid and the IULI watercolor paints to make um, some, they're like little silhouettes holding umbrellas and then the watercolor is coming down like, like rain over the umbrella. But I used masking fluid to protect the part the umbrella would have protected so that the, um, the, uh, silhouettes and the Santorini underneath kind of show through. It turned out really cool. So if you haven't watched that yet, you can watch that when you have time. It was really fun. And I also got to thinking as I was doing it, like, oh, somebody, you know, some of you may not have the, the watercolors and, you know, the masking fluid may not want it, um, which is totally fine. So I actually did one at the end that was just with the acrylic paint and not using the masking fluid. And I created the same effect. So that was pretty cool. Okay. What color should our missing puzzle piece be? Anybody have thoughts? So we have options. I'm kind of leaning towards the lighter blue or yellow. Actually, there's only two of everything. So maybe we should vote. What color should we make this little missing pu puzzle piece? Should it be, you guys comment, there's enough of you we could vote on it. Should it be the light blue, the yellow, the red, or the dark blue? What do you think for the missing puzzle piece? Okay, we've got one vote for yellow. Come on guys, what else you got? I'm gonna darken up some of the other colors while you're, while you're thinking. What color should our missing puzzle piece be? Or the separated one, not missing. So brighten this up. Got red. Let's see. Okay, we've got a vote for red and a vote for yellow. So now you guys have got me 
who needs some more vote. And Tabitha has a question. So do the brush markers dry the same as regular Thule art pens? I'm weird. I prefer acrylic paint over the pens simply because it dries matte, even though I put the DuraClear gloss on when it's done. So some of the Thule arts do dry. They dry kind of shiny. Um, Try to think. These, at least on this design, it's drying pretty matte. Um, and I don't know if that has to do with um, because they're brush pens versus the pen nib tip pens, but I guess there is a little bit of a shine to it. And if we get this built up enough, there's going to be a little bit of a shine to it. So yeah, it's similar. Um, I just really like these particular ones with the brush tip because you can take them with you. Like they're really good for on the go. Like if you didn't want to pack bottles of paint and worry about, you know, paper towels and um, brushes and rinsing the brushes and all of that stuff. Um, they're kind of handy because it's kind of like you have everything all in one and it has a really, the box has a really good variety of colors in it that are really pretty, which is pretty cool. Um, and this yellow is pretty impressive because yellow paint is tricky. It's almost always very tricky to get a nice bright opaque yellow and this yellow does a pretty decent job for a paint pen. I didn't have super high hopes but I've used it on quite a few things and it's pretty useful. Um, and I just, <clears throat> ooh, excuse me, I just like the um, uh, lost my thought. I like the Thule Art better than the Posca. I think Posca just doesn't get quite the same opaque color. Um, and they're expensive. These are more affordable. The main Posca that I still use are these, um, the PC1MR. These are the ones that I like outline and write with because they have that little tip. They go really well, but I just don't, I don't invest in the Posca markers much actually at all. Um, I was gifted some that were really pretty and I used them, but, um, I just, if, if I had to choose, I would choose Thule Art hands down every time. And this is not sponsored by them. It's just, I've been really happy with the product and that they're always trying to improve them. Um, like a lot of the regular pen, paint pens have that window where you can see how much paint is left in it still. I really like that. That's nice. Um, and they send you extra nibs when you order their sets, which is nice too. If they, you know, happen to get kind of damaged or torn up on the rocks, like we're working on not the most smooth surface, right? So I think they definitely, they're very customer service oriented in my opinion. Okay. I'm still stuck with, um, <laughs> and now Mary Jane's changing her vote. You're making it even more confusing because you're saying another shade of blue lighter than the one you already used. Well, the reason I picked these four colors is because they're the colors for autism awareness. So that's why I've got specifically these four colors. It's what's on, you know, ribbons, the awareness stuff. So that's why I picked these four colors. So I do want to stick with these three but I just, I guess two of you voted. Anybody else got anything to say about what color the um, missing paint pen will be? Or I'm just going to have to choose and go with it. We'll see. Still darkening up, so you have time to say so. We had one vote for yellow and one vote for um, red. So let's see. <clears throat> okay, so Mary Jane's sticking with yellow. <laughs> sticking with your original vote. Um, yeah. Okay. So the yellow, yellow would look good too. So maybe Tab Tabitha is switching her vote. So maybe we'll go with yellow and let's get a first coat on here. Everyone else is being so quiet this morning. <laughs> let's get some yellow on this missing guy. At least in the middle. So we can keep darkening everything up. Yeah, these Posca PC1MRs are, I wish Thule could market something like that. I'd be done with Posca forever, probably. Um, but I don't 
I don't know if they have that in the works or not, or if it, maybe there's like patent issues, you know, like maybe it's some kind of special little rollerball that um, Posca has the rights or something <laughs> to, that only they can make it. I don't know. I feel like generics, generics come pretty quickly after original things most of the time. So maybe it's just a matter of time. I can kind of, you can kind of get that brush in these little puzzle pieces, which is handy. A pen could do this too, I think, if it was thin enough. But it's kind of like, these brush pens are cool because it's like you've got the thickness and the thinness all in one. So you can go thin or you can lay it down and go thick. So that's another kind of cool thing about the brush pens that is neat. Let's darken up these little light blue guys too, because we, this is a lighter color that I think is having a hard, whoops, harder time coming alive on this rock. The base coat. And my puzzle pieces are getting a little uneven. <laughs> it's okay. Imperfection. Remember, embrace the imperfection. I think that phrase was born out of a live stream. Tabitha, I know you were here for it. And it just stuck. We embrace the imperfections. This color is really pretty when it gets its full brightness going on. Let's see here. And red can be another tricky color for, you know, just regular paint, getting one that's got good coverage. I'm always making sure I put gesso under reds, yellows, oranges. All of those have trouble being bright and having good coverage. So but these pens are definitely doing a great job. And the outline, outlining this is probably going to bring it some life too, because that'll make everything pop a little bit more. But you can really see the difference between like the yellows that have multiple coats and then this guy only has one coat. So you can see how it's just needs a little extra love. Darken this up a little bit more. Good old yellow. Okay, I'll let that sit for a minute and dry. I'm trying to think, I don't know if I'm going to write on this rock too. I've kind of got some space here that I could. Maybe what I'll do is I don't know that I want to be like, um, probably should because if the point is awareness, you want to let people know what it's about. But I kind of want to put something like you are enough on here because I think it's a neat message for someone that does know what it is to find it and then you know, have that true kindness rock message of you are enough would be pretty cool too. This yellow is not bright enough for my liking right now. <laughs> you need more, more sunshine, more yellow. This might do it. But let's, before we attempt any writing, maybe let's try and outline this and see how that goes. It's like right here, you can see that I kind of went off filter a little bit with the red, but I'm going to be able to smooth that out when I outline, depending on where the outline falls. Should be able to smooth that out nicely. Come around the corner. Anything with round makes me nervous as heck, man, because I feel like if I have to stop in the middle of a curve that I'll never be able to 
pick up the line or, you know, get the line aligned with where I let off properly. These pens are pretty good. So this black is definitely making, I mean, just with the outline, you can already see it popping, um, which is pretty cool. But I'm going to have to be careful, I think, with the little designs because it's a pretty intricate design. And I don't want to. So I'm going to use this also to kind of correct some of my shapes that were the little, I don't even know what you call them, like the pieces that fit together in the puzzle, like these little guys. So they may be a little funny shaped like these <laughs> are a little funny shaped. Um, and I can kind of look at that. How were those shaped? That's kind of strange. Um, kind of fix them a little bit. My pen guy, come back. Let's see. I know this is supposed to be that and see that cleaned it up a whole big bunch having that there so I go around and just kind of clean up some of the shapes so they look like what they're supposed to look like which is awesome I'm sorry I have such a hard time talking when I'm doing this <laughs> if I go quiet that's why um, here that and this is really helping the design pop out which is super cool um and i might have to come back with some color to help things i don't know Let's see let's see Definitely looks more like a puzzle now, don't you think? <laughs> Rhonda, good to see you. Um, Tabitha, you made me laugh. Are you holding your breath like when I outline? Actually, I don't know. I'm going to have to pay attention now. I might do that. I know my poor mom does. My mom, I think, gets tense in her shoulders when she rock paints because she is a perfectionist. And she definitely gets um, into the details. And me, I don't know. I do, I guess. But I also just kind of plow through. And if I make mistakes, I either sand it off or paint over it or, you know, fix it with an outline like we're doing now. <laughs> um, but I probably do hold my breath a little bit. I just know whenever I'm on here and I'm doing it, I catch myself being like, oh, I got quiet. I wonder... If that matters. Let's see here. Okay, I'm not holding my breath. I just get quiet. <laughs> All right. So that definitely made it pop more. Um, I'm going to give this a second to dry. blowing on it to dry and then I think what I'm going to do is write you are up here and enough down here so and I'm wondering if I can use the shape of the heart let's do the easy part first um <laughs> same issue can't talk and paint at the same time definitely hold your breath <laughs> all right I'm going to do the enough <laughs> Okay, here it goes. Oh, do there be enough space for a G to go down? Let's see. And then we're gonna do little H. 
off the side. Okay, so we got the enough on. And now, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna do it up here. We'll use the shape of the heart to go around. Like that. How's that? You are enough. I think I like this. Turned out pretty decent. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I guess I'm going to add a little because I have to. The faux calligraphy, I'm going to go down and thicken up my downstrokes. So anywhere when you're writing it, the pen was going in a downward motion. I'm going to thicken it up. Call it good. I'm not going to overdo it. We're just going to do a little bit of accent here and <clears throat> hi, Carrie. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you. I'm coming down the side of the rock here. The beauty of rocks, right? We don't work on a flat surface. <laughs> we are working on some topography. <laughs> um, oh, good. You guys like this design. Oh, cool. So, yeah, I would just, if you can find, you could probably even do it. If you have a sense of puzzle pieces, just find a rock, find a heart, put it on there, and then add the puzzle pieces. Or just Google for clip art that has the puzzle pieces. I think I'm going to add an exclamation point here too, just because. All right. I think we are done. There it is, guys. Finished design and a whole lot of mess <laughs> that I will clean up. But there's the finished design. You are enough. I'm thinking, this is where my brain's going because you know me and my sparklies. I'm thinking that I might add some glitter paint just to the missing piece. I don't know why that's sticking in my head, but just this missing piece, sparkly glitter paint as, I don't know why I'm thinking that, but that's just kind of what, where my mind's going. So I will definitely post a picture of this once it gets resined. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this morning. I'm going to go wash my dirty hands. <laughs> oh, hi, Audrey. Tell her I said hi to you. <laughs> Hope she's doing good. Um, oh, good. See, I'm not the only one thinking that with the glitter. Yeah, I think there's going to be some extreme hologram glitter paint going on this yellow piece right here. I think that's, that's going to be the winner. And I will post a picture once I've got it resined and there's sunshine to make it sparkle because it's cloudy up still. So, all right, you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will uh, see you online. Go watch the other video if you have time. I think you'll like it. Um, and I will see you in cyberspace. Have a good weekend. Bye.